back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and this is Ringo the Raccoon. Ringo is learning all the bits and pieces that go into being an animal ambassador. And right now, he's going to get on a presentation table for the very first time. This is an important part of his training because when we travel to a new location and I'm teaching the audience about raccoons, Ringo, good boy, has to stay on the table or on me the entire time. This is to ensure the safety of the audience, which is a requirement of the state permit that allows us to care for Ringo and bring him off site. So my goal here is to keep Ringo occupied the entire time while also being able to talk to an audience. Here you go, good. Since I haven't done this with him yet, I'm also looking to see how quickly he becomes bored and wants to explore other places besides the table. Target. Good. I'm also using some of the behaviors he already knows, like targeting to a stick. Good. And can he spin? Good. And rising up when he gets done with that. Come up, buzz. He's up. Good. But if these behaviors get boring for him, then I also have a puzzle feeder with treats inside to keep him busy. Okay, well that is it for our little training session. And when he's done with his treats, we have some mail that needs to be opened. All right, let's start with this one first. We have some branches. These look like apple branches, which is perfect and safe for the animals. We have a ladder. Chairman and Captain Waffle. That looks like an excellent story to read. We'll read that later. Let's get to all the rest of the stuff in here. Is that, what, is that a good spot for you? Is this where raccoons belong? We got some blankets, nice cozy blankets. We can always use blankets. Here, move your little bums and your tail. We got some fun fleece ropes. These are always really fun. What do you think, Ringo? You want those? Oh, wow. Some chinchilla dust, we always need chinchilla dust. And these fun toys, even Ringo likes these toys. Oh, so many good enrichment items. This is gonna be really fun to give to the animals. What's in there? Oh my gosh, and it's a little picture of Huckleberry. That's super cute. All right, this comes from Kerrigan. Let's see, we have a few animal toys in here. We can even use this as enrichment. There's a little blanket here. Oh my gosh, For this is for Ophelia the opossum and some other really fun little toys in here. Thank you, Kerrigan. Ringo, careful, don't fall off. You gonna be in those blankets there? You're not getting everything. <laughs> this comes from Alana or Elena. Oh my gosh, Ringo's having so much fun over here. You okay, buddy? Don't fall off those boxes here. Here, look. Oh no, don't go over there. Come here, come here. He was successful, he got a treat. Here, I'm gonna put some more treats in this box. Here, you can stay preoccupied, but there you go. You get those, you get those while I work on this. <laughs> this is a picture of Seraphina the fox, oh my gosh. Alana, thank you so much. Look at those paint, those are leaf paintings. Oh, wonderful. And we have some really fun chew toys and some more cozy blankets. Look at this cute little bed here and some fun chew toys. Thank you, Alana, that is awesome. What do you think is in here? You know what? Look at this blanket. This is gonna be your blanket. You're gonna love it. You're gonna be all cozy in it. Yeah. And it looks like we have some fun boxes for the animals and Rachel, we have stuff in there. Is there stuff in there? Oh, TP rolls, gotta love them. This came from Tanya and Hope and we got a donation as well. That's gonna go right to the animal care. Thank you. We even got some paper towels here. Ringo, look, to keep you clean. Huh? And all the animals clean. Thank you. This one says, please open on camera. It's from Marsha. Ringo, do you wanna see what's in this one? For animal ones, and I hope the animals will love the toys. Oh, thank you so much, Marcia. Look at this. Oh, it's a little home for Tickles the Hedgehog. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What do you think, Ringo? That's pretty fun. I think Tickles is gonna love this. That is so good. Oh my gosh, and there's some rodent chews and other just really fun enrichment in here. All the animals are gonna love this. I can't wait to give it to them. This one comes from Nakoda. You got, oh my gosh, that's an awesome letter. I'm gonna read this later, but 
Let's check and see. We got some TP rolls, which are like enrichment gold here. That's awesome. We have some fun sticks for them to chew. What do you think of that? Do you think the animals will like that? You like it. I think it's approved. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Look, she even sent us a little homemade mask. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Oh, there's so many good goodies in here. I can't wait to give all this enrichment to the animals. We have one more package. Watch your little tail, Ringo. Looks like we have, what is that crinkling noise? Is that crinkling? It kind of bugs him. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. That is a fun perch for the parrots, for the birds. We got some other little treats in here. And a little card with some baby foxes on it. Oh my goodness, thank you. This comes from Amelia. Amelia, thank you so much for sending the package. Okay, we have so much fun stuff for the animals and I am so excited to give it to them. Are you excited, Ringo? You think, should we give it to the animals now? Yeah, I bet you're gonna want half of this stuff, huh? Yo, we got to share. All right, let's go do it. All right, first up is Serafina. She ran out of here. She doesn't know what she's missing. Sarah, I have some toys for you. You want to come get it? Here you go. You're gonna, that was my finger. You want more, don't you? Play with that. Look at that. TP rolls. Those have some mealworms in them. You want this really bad, don't you? You want that too? You can have it. What are you going to do with it? You, you took it, you took it away. Oh, she's hiding it. She doesn't want me to get it. You're silly, you're silly. You want this? Oh, get it, shake it. Do you wanna go get the rest of those toys that are in there? You gonna come get them? Get them, those are yours. <laughs> those are yours, you're gonna have them. Yeah. I love seeing her. She knows them, they're in there. She can smell them. She just has to figure out how to get them and then they're tiny and then she has to forage for them from the ground. And that's all so normal, such a normal behavior. Can you find some more? It's okay, you can eat your treats. Yeah, eat your treats. She's trying to find a little secluded place to eat them because foxes don't really like others watching them while they eat. That's also a very natural behavior in the wild. If they see another fox watching them, then <laughs> they will um, pick up their food and they'll go hide it somewhere else because they have the forethought of like, oh no, this fox has seen me um, and seen where my food is. I better go hide it somewhere else so they don't steal it from me. Hi, pretty girl. Yes, you're a very good girl. Yes, you are. Are you gonna eat that other treat later? You really want to go get it. You can go get it. All right, Sarah, you enjoy playing tug of war with that, so I'm gonna hang that right there, and then you can pull on it whenever you want to. Ophelia, we have some gifts for you. Hi, sleepyhead, did you just wake up? All right, so I have a foraging toy for you, and I put a piece of banana in there. Ophelia, she likes foraging things. In the wild, opossums would be foraging all the time looking for their food. They don't have the dexterity as a, of a raccoon or the, the cunning of a raccoon or fox, um, but they are very determined. They love, they have an excellent sense of smell, so they are very determined to get any kind of food that they can smell. You found the other piece. Let's see if you can get to it. Making food challenging for them to get to um, <laughs> might look frustrating for us, um, but it's actually exactly what they would be up against in the wild. And so it's very um, good for them to engage in that kind of behavior. She's smelling. I put a grape in this one. Let's see if she can find the grape. So she's gotten her full diet already. The things I'm giving her right now are just kind of like treats to keep her busy, kind of like, I guess, dessert for us. Like we're already full, but it's still really enriching for us to eat something delicious. I also gave you a new blanket here. See that? Two new blankets that you can get nice and cozy in. She'll probably be going after these for quite a while. So we're gonna leave her to it. And our next animal who lives right above Ophelia is Tickles the Hedgehog. And Tickles is sleeping right now, but I'm hoping she'll come out for some of this awesome fun. Oh my gosh, I love this little house here. You know, we also got these mealworms as a gift. And so I put some of the little crunchy mealworms in this bedding in here. So hopefully she's gonna forage for those. And we got this cute little bed. I'm gonna put this bed underneath her little hut here. You can see that she's burrowed in back here. 
Hi, sweet girl. Do you want to come on out and see all this awesome stuff? Look, there's a new bed there. We also have some other little blankets here for her. Um, and I feel okay giving her these little pouches with this on here because she doesn't really chew on things. She's not a chewer, she's not a rodent, and she's not gonna really pull on them. Um, so she's not gonna ingest any of these balls. And she likes really cozy things. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one, I know, in her little home there. Let's see if she smells these mealworms. Sometimes if a hedgehog smells something new and it's just a, a really interesting smell to them, they will chew and lick on it and get all the smell into like this foam and then they will put that on their back. It's called anointing. And the thought is either they're trying to mask their smell, they just really like the smell and they want it on them, or it could possibly be poisonous, a poisonous like a toxic substance and by putting it on them, it's going to make their quills even more irritating. And so whatever predator is messing with them is gonna get poked by that and get the toxins in there and, and never mess with a hedgehog again. Hi. So, I was gonna make these a little bit more visible for you. There's treats over here. Can you smell the treats? Yay, she found them. Was that it? Are you done now? Okay, she's done now, but now that she knows there's treats in there, she's definitely going to come back when she wakes up later tonight, and she's going to forage in there. That is super cute. Hello, sweet girl. I have some sticks for you. Would you like a stick? <laughs> that doesn't taste the best. I'm also going to stick this up here. I've hidden some fun little treats up here. Mimi, look at this. So she's got to figure out how to get to them. I love how she can just hang upside down. She has really sharp nails, so she can just grip onto everything. There's more treats in here. They're kind of hidden, they're hard to see, but it looks like she's found one. Do you see how she just pulled that right up there? She knew exactly what to do. Oh, you're so smart, Mimi. So there's two more hidden pieces of food in there. She really has to smell. She found one. <laughs> now that she's going to search even harder because she's been rewarded three times by searching. You spitting out that, that grape skin? Ew, gross. Search, search, search. Where is it? The wonderful thing about foraging enrichment is sometimes they get it all right away and that's actually not the goal. The goal is to get them to engage with it as long as possible. So after she finds the fourth piece of food, which she might have found it right now, then she's probably, yeah, she got it. Then she's probably going to go back and engage with that piece of enrichment again and again because she was successful finding something four times, she's probably going to continue that behavior. And so even though there's nothing else in there for her, it's still enriching. I love how hard you're working, Mimi. This next one's gonna be even harder. Unless she cheats. I thought she was gonna climb down onto it. She might be able to just grab it from there. Totally, oh my gosh, she's doing the splits hanging from the bars. That's incredible. <laughs> I was hoping she'd have to climb down the rope, but nope, she's smarter than me. And there's that TP roll used in a different way. I smeared some um, peanut butter and banana inside that TP roll. So she can't just grab it and go, she has to stick with it. And then she's doing a lot of, she's just licking it. So I wonder if she will. Now see, she's getting, she's trying to get uh, a little more creative because licking it, it seems uncomfortable. And so she's trying to chew. She bit the, the rope and now she's trying to chew on the TP. There she goes. Now she's grabbing it with her hand. I think she's trying to figure that part out. She's chewing on the TP roll again, seeing if she can get a better angle. There you go. Come on up, buddy. Let's get you a new cozy blanket. And you can also have this. Look at his little fingers getting in all the nooks and crannies. Get it, Ringo, don't drop it. He does not have opposable thumbs, so he cannot hold on to that. He just has to shove his little fingers in. But he does have these curved nails <laughs> and really sensitive toes, so he can feel everything in there. Raccoons are incredibly determined and very cunning, and they can get food from anywhere. They have pretty sharp teeth, which he is using to try and rip that apart. 
You can see he's super excited about getting all the stuff. He's not even paying attention to all the stuff he's spilling out of it. Very enthusiastic forager. <laughs> Look at him shoving his little hands in there. <laughs> he must feel it all. Isn't that super exciting? Here, let's put this up here now. He loves this hammock. It's one of his favorite places to be. That's why I put the, the blanket there. And so he's just gonna be nice and cozy in there, eating his snacks. Good job, buddy. You, I think you got it all. There you go, and then you get a little tug of toy. It feels really good. He's feeling it with his fingers, all those little pieces. What is that camera? He didn't, he got scared of the camera for a second. And he gave his little, his defensive huff, saying, stay away from me. That's pretty fun, huh? All right, so we're gonna end up hanging this up here. Now it's time to just get cozy. We'll see you later. Hi, buddy! Huckleberry! Look what we brought you! All right, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, we got two different kinds of branches. We got some apple wood there, and then we have some, a willow bundle. Are any of those to your liking? Mm, he's smelling it. Oh, he likes it. Get it, get it. Where are you gonna take it? You want some more? I got this too. Yeah, you like that? And those. You want... <laughs> Oh, wow, Huckleberry. Wow. Wow. Here. Yeah, you can have them all. There you go. Yep. They're all yours. Is that one a good one? That one too? Is that the best one? Gosh, I love how he nibbles and then smells them to make sure that they are to his liking. You got all those? Okay. Okay. You can't fit in there. <laughs> You gotta figure it out, bud. Oh, there you go. Turn sideways. There you go. <laughs> Looks like he's really enjoying those willow branches, but I bet he's gonna really enjoy the, the apple as well. Oh, and he just went in there and then started grooming himself. So over the next couple hours, he's probably gonna nibble on all of these branches and have a really good time. But it looks like he is a little sleepy, so he's gonna cozy himself down. Thank you everyone so much for the kind letters and the amazing artwork, all the enrichment and gifts for the animals. Thank you for the donations and your support. Whenever we get something from you, it's different than something that we might give them, so it's really enriching for the animals. Ensuring that everyone has a variety of enrichment is so important for their mental and physical health. And it's incredibly fulfilling to see them being curious and engaging in new experiences. Sometimes they're calm about it, sometimes they're bursting with excitement, and sometimes they're nervous at first. But with a little time, they overcome their fear and curiosity curiosity wins out. All the animals deserve a good life. Thank you for helping us keep them happy and healthy with your gifts and your support. If you'd like to help us continue sharing the animals and our adventures caring for them, you can join our community on Patreon where you'll get a monthly perk like a private video of an animal adorably enjoying a good snack, we lovingly call them stuff your face videos. You could also be a video sponsor and have your name in the credits or enjoy a special photo of the month or cast a vote on decisions like what to name a new animal. If any of this sounds interesting to you, I've put a link in the description below for you to check out. Again, thank you for watching and going on this adventure with us. I'll see you next week. Bye.